So we're at three hours now. That's a lot. I went really in depth with a lot of stuff. Uh, well, I went really in depth with a little bit of stuff. And so we still have more to cover. We have more about extraction. I want to explain how it works. We have shadow box and we have a topology primer. So we'll get into those next week as well as the brush system. I really want to make sure you know and have control, total mastery of the brush system and you're able to make hard surface, clean edges uh, as much as possible with the brush and uh, really just get control of that. Any questions before we call it a day? Corbin's asking, uh, why does Dynamesh destroy extraction? So while you guys are gathering your questions, I'm going to answer that. Uh, Corbin, think of the Legos. The Lego analogy. Dynamesh uses a Lego analogy. If you have a very thin extraction, and but you've got a big Lego, then you can't really represent that thin extraction with the big Lego. You have to uh, increase your resolution so you're using smaller and smaller Legos to build uh, more and more resolution. So your assumption was correct. It is the uh, it is that it's too thin. Uh, Mads, subtool list length. Do you know any ZB plugin that extends the length? No. Uh, and this is um, I understand using a 30 inch monitor and 40 subtools is very painful. But uh, the key to it, what they developed instead of using subtools, is press N as in Nancy. And a pop-up will come with all of your subtools. So that's supposed to make it a little easier for you to select them. And then also, you should be able to alt-click on them. So again, the, the system that they had developed is alt plus click. And it'll select it. That gets a little tricky, right? Because you alt-click sometimes to sculpt and then... Now suddenly you alt click and now you're somewhere else. Hope that helps. Uh, let's see, Michael, great. Okay, Roberta, sometimes mentioning mentioned the hair tutorial you had posted a while back. Uh, there. Okay, Roberta, so yes, let's make sure those videos are available for you. Uh, Steve, if you're posting homework at the top level Crit Canvas, you can actually just assign it to the course. There is a, if you go into the edit page, there should be a group. If you start typing Ryan uh, Kingsline Cert Program, it'll allow you to assign it. That should be, it should be possible to reassign it. And Mads, yes. Turning off 10 different subtools within 40 subtools is a pain. And that is why they don't want to use subtools. <laughs> That's one of the reasons. It takes you out of the flow. But if you have uh, poly groups and the poly groups can be selected easily, then they're going to find a way to make that happen. But I, I'm feeling you. I understand. It's the same. I, I limit my subtools because of that. But when you're doing mech stuff, that's really hard to do. And when you're doing entire pieces, you know, 40 subtools is, is, you know, it's a lot, but it's not abnormal. All right, my friends, you've got a weekend ahead of you. Get a ZBrush start of it. I hope you woke up this morning and did a little sculpting. I did. I hope you do some sculpting tomorrow. Remember, ZBrush is about sculpting. My job is to give you all of this information. So if you get into trouble and your brain starts to get fried, just sculpt. You have lifetime access to this. I will, as long as you know this company is around and I am around and these videos exist and we're not holographic entities, I will be able to give you these videos.
That's my promise to you is that I am here for you. Your promise to me, I'm hoping, is to just sculpt and grow. If you are holographic entities, Lars, then uh, I do need to know a little bit more information about how to get there myself. I am, I'm quite, I'm interested in that. Um, I haven't been able to convince myself to go the Scientology route, so if you know another route, let me know. Michael Talbot. All right, my guys, my friends, I will talk to you later. I will get this recording up as soon as I can, and um, we'll go from there. Take care, and I'll talk to you in the hub. See you, Michael. See you, Matthew. See you, Vincent.